Bonjour, euh, Monsieur Vincent Kizebrick. Vous êtes chercheur euh, sur les multinationales et vous avez rendu un rapport concernant le laboratoire Moderna. Euh, Est-ce que vous pouvez nous présenter le, ce rapport rapidement et indiquer les conclusions que vous en tirez Sure. Um, so uh, we did research based on uh, two uh, contracts that were leaked between the European Commission and Moderna, or one contract between the European Commission and Moderna, um, uh, which shows that uh, Moderna is uh, charging very high prices um, for the vaccines it's providing, uh, allowing it to make massive profits off of these uh, publicly funded vaccines, uh, while at the same time planning to shift these profits to a subsidiary in Switzerland, allowing the company to avoid uh, paying its fair share in taxes. And th those are the, the primary conclusions. Yeah. And, uh, uh, est-ce que Moderna a reçu beaucoup d'argent public uh, pour faire sa recherche et développement, mm -hmm. ce qui uh, on ne comprend pas pourquoi ces vaccins sont très chers. Um, it, is, it is unclear because there's very little transparency around what happens in the negotiations between the European Commission and these pharmaceutical firms. Uh, but what we know from research by Corporate Europe Observatory is that there is a very heavy lobbying of the European Commission by pharmaceutical firms. Um, and then what we see is the outcome is these extremely high prices allowing these companies to make very high profit margins on publicly funded vaccines. So it is an intransparent uh, mm. uh, picture, uh, but we see the end result is highly problematic for, for, the, European, for the European Union and its people. Yeah. Et dernière question, uh, quel est l'intérêt qu'a Moderna à s'installer à Bâle en Suisse C'est quoi C'est de l'optimisation fiscale C'est l'évitement fiscal C'est de l'évasion fiscale C'est quoi exactement Pourquoi ils font ça The question is why are they in Switzerland Yes. Right? Yeah. So, um, so the uh, Switzerland and specifically the the jurisdiction of Basel, the con canton of Basel in Switzerland, um, is known to offer uh, uh, fiscal benef tax benefits to multinational corporations uh, that are willing to uh, shift some of their profits. Uh, to that to that jurisdiction, and in this case, uh, Moderna had no economic presence in Switzerland before they moved there in this in this regard, uh, and and the elaborate nature of that move heavily indicates that they are likely to pay very little in taxes uh, when they receive profits in in that uh, jurisdiction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. C'est d'éviter de payer des taxes dans yeah. le pays en question. Yeah, yeah. That, mm. the, the goal. The, uh, the, Obviously, we cannot look into their heads. We can only look into the annual accounts and the, and the, uh, the uh, contracts that have leaked. Uh, but judging from those, it seems very likely uh, that this was purely uh, fiscally motivated. Et yeah. c'est la même chose aux États-Unis, dans le pays de Delaware, c'est ça? Ah oui, uh, yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in, um, uh, another structure they use is where they've registered their patents, their intellectual property in Delaware, uh, which will allow them to uh, shift profits from subsidiaries around the world to Delaware, and then Delaware uh, does not uh, levy any taxes on uh, this kind of patent income, uh, allowing them to reduce the taxes that they contribute further. And the issue with this is that these taxes pay for our public services. They pay for everything, to, they pay to make our societies work and everybody contributes their fair share. And then a multinational like this, who is making very high profits, uh, elects to avoid contributing mm. its fair share. And that is the, the economic injustice of what is going on here. Yeah. Merci beaucoup mm. pour cette enquête et cette étude. Merci. Thank you. <laughs>